G'day and welcome to another edition of the Adventure King's Beginner's Guide to Camping. In this episode, I'm going to take you through what you need to know if it's your first time camping on the beach. So whether this is your first time camping or you've done plenty of camping in the past but never on the beach, then listen up. Driving on soft sand can be a challenge at the best of times. And if you're not used to it, or if you don't do things properly, there's a good chance you'll end up stuck. So the first thing you need to remember is to drop your tire pressures. This spreads your tire footprint out and increases the surface area, hopefully meaning you glide over the sand rather than chew down into it. I normally air my tires down to about 15 psi depending on how soft the beach is, but don't be afraid to go a little bit lower if it's too soft. And if you're towing a trailer, make sure you air down the trailer tires too, so it doesn't act like an anchor digging into the sand behind you. Next, make sure that you're actually in four-wheel drive. And if you've got an older four-wheel drive, make sure you've locked your hubs in. Also, you should definitely pack a recovery kit, and in particular, a shovel or some recovery tracks. With a shovel on hand, there's not really that much you can't get out of. And having a snatch trap on hand means that if you do get stuck, you can get moving again in minutes. But on that note, make sure you don't chuck your entire shed in the back of your four-wheel drive, because packing too much gear is the quickest way to end up bogged on the beach. And finally, do some research on the beach you're planning to hit. In particular, check if there's any areas that you should avoid and double check your tide times, because there's nothing worse than stressing trying to get from one end of the beach to the other, especially when the tide's coming up. Now you don't really need much to camp comfortably on the beach, but a couple of these key items do help. Number one is a good shaded area. Whether you're using a gazebo or an awning, it's definitely nice to get out of the sun. Second is a mosquito net. When the sun's going down, if the flies and the midges come out, you'll love the fact that you can get away from them. A mesh floor is also nice to keep your campsite clean and makes a big difference in getting the sand off your feet before you get into bed. No one likes sand in their sleeping bag night after night, and another great way to keep your sleeping setup clean is with a small dustpan and broom. And another quick little tip that I like to use is get a bit of baby powder and sprinkle it on any area that you might have sand stuck to you. It's gonna absorb the moisture and the sand will basically fall right off. Also, remember to pack plenty of water as it's pretty easy to get dehydrated at the beach, being out in the sun and the salt water. Finally, definitely remember the sunscreen. It's very easy to get burnt and ruin your entire trip. So when you're picking a spot to camp on the beach, you really need to be aware of the conditions and in particular, the prevailing wind. If the wind does pick up, you're gonna to wanna to be behind some sort of a windbreak. So you can use your vehicle or even the terrain to shield you from the wind. Whether you're on the east or the west coast, the wind is generally gonna be coming from the ocean, but you do get the occasional southerly as well. And speaking of wind, make sure you actually peg everything down properly, even if it's on a nice calm day. Make sure you're actually getting them down into the hard packed sand so they're anchored properly. Or another option is to use a couple of sandbags. Finally, be sure that you camped well above the high tide mark. Waking up in the middle of the ocean is not much fun and it can be pretty dangerous if a storm blows through or if there's a king tide. Just like any campsite, you need to take all of your rubbish with you. Don't leave it laying around for animals to choke on, for council workers or other campers to deal with. If you're the sort of grub that leaves all your rubbish behind for someone else to deal with after you're done camping, you're the reason why beautiful spots just like this get shut down every single year. Before you head to bed, make sure you clean up all your food scraps because you don't want to attract animals into your campsite. Final couple things you need to be aware of is one, be very careful with glass because once it's broken on sand, you'll never be able to pick up all of it. And secondly, if you have a fire, make sure you put it out properly with water rather than bury it with sand. The hot coals underneath the stand could stay hot for hours, if not days after you've already left camp. And it could cause serious injury or even a bushfire. There you go, there's a couple of tips that you can keep in mind for your next beach camping trip. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, give us the thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more.